All right, so today's video, we're taking a look at a set of glasses, and they are LED illuminated uh, glasses you could use for like working on small projects and such. So first, take a look at a couple of images that detail some more about this, and then we'll jump into the video, talk a little bit more about them. Okay, so as stated, we're taking a look at LED lit magnification glasses. All right, so real quickly, just to give you an idea, uh, charge time is about an hour, maybe a little longer. So I'm going to say hour to hour and 15 minutes roughly, and that's going to be on a 2.4 amp uh, USB port that I utilized. And run time really is going to vary. I was able to run these for about eight hours six of those hours it seemed bright the last two hours they seemed to dim down and it ended up being around 1 a.m. before they started getting you know somewhat dim uh, to the point where I was just like you know that's enough we'll shut them off so I would say you probably get around six hours of use time probably and the actual glasses themselves the LEDs are located here so they're independently controlled they each have their own switch and their own charging port. All right, we'll come back to the glasses in a moment. Let me show you what's included really quickly. So you get this soft carry pouch, which is nice, keep them protected. A cleaning cloth, obviously you want to keep fingerprints and smudges and such off. You get this, it says blue light protect, blue ray blocker tester, and this little blue LED light. So basically, you hold it over that and you can see it you know changes that so these glasses have the ability to filter out some of the blue light which is nice if you're going to use them in front of a computer screen or, or something of that nature so you got a little tester and everything for that purpose you got your USB charging cable it's just micro USB and you could use your own but it's really nice because this one is actually a USB A to two micro USB and the good thing there is one cable you can charge the glasses very easily so again charging port here and a charging port over here on this side so these are actually fairly lightweight and they have a very soft rubbery type bridge for your nose they're not super super bulky there's you know, frameless, so you don't have any kind of interference as far as your vision goes in terms of looking at your projects and such. There's no frame in the way. That's nice. And I am able to wear these right over top of my existing prescription glasses, which is a necessity for me, and they're very comfortable. Also, when I look down, they don't fall off. And if I move around, they don't move around. So I've had some in the past that I really liked, but I had to take the batteries out because the weight of the batteries actually pulled them off my face as I'm looking down and messing with things. So that is definitely an issue. The other thing with these, even though it's not obviously a clear image because they're made for magnification, something up close, I can actually look around and things aren't massively distorted. I can still mostly make out fairly well what I'm looking at with relative ease. That's actually really nice because you don't have to you know move them all the time. But I can also just do like that and have the bridge rest on top of my glasses it doesn't put a lot of extra weight or discomfort at all and it's fine so that's really cool all right so now the box they come in nothing too fancy so it's just a little box here um, a little protective cover over the lens 
a bag for the accessories, and a little padded bag for the actual glasses. So that gives you an idea of every single aspect of what is included. Now the switches, well you can see, the switches are right there. So if I go like that and switch that on, you can see what one is pretty bright and the other one's off. So I'm going to switch that one on. So it's pretty bright. Now, overall, I like everything about these. The only thing that I would probably change is the LEDs are located up here. Your eyes are located down here. Let me turn these off so you can better see. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the LEDs are here and your eye level is right here. So for me, especially looking down at a project, I find there's probably a almost two or three inch uh, area where I wish that they actually had a little bit of adjustment so I could turn them downward a little bit or maybe even inward a little bit. So basically what I'm saying is if I'm looking like right here, and here's an example, this is just a little sticker off of a medicine bottle. I mean, it can be red obviously to some degree for most people probably without any type of magnification but it is very very easy for me I do have some vision issues um, so using this I'm actually able to see and read very clearly as opposed to being sort of a foggy but I can kind of make out the words because I know what to expect what the letters should be so it's kind of the difference between wearing a pair of glasses and not wearing glasses if you ever wear glasses and need that because it takes a foggier world and just sharpens and brings everything into you know a clear gives you that clarity so really really like it but the problem is the only real problem is the LEDs are here my eyes are here so if I'm holding this and obviously you've got to find just like any magnifying glass you move it in and out till you find that spot where it gives you the most magnification and everything's clear so if I, I move these in and out and I find that you know, spot that's clear, and I flip the LED on, if I'm focused right here, the LED light is really the brightest about here. So a little higher and a little over for my left eye specifically. I am actually blind in this eye. So that is the only real issue. If you want to use these for detailed work, they will work, but the concentration and, and the light, because these are non-positional, is going to be directly in, you know, in line in front. That's where the problem lies. No adjustability. But it's not too bad. There's still plenty of light provided, and in a dark room, you can actually use these to light up the entire room. I actually put these above my head like this, walk next door uh, last night when it was dark out, and I can illuminate, not extremely bright, but enough to see the path in front of my feet, so they were like literally headlights because I had them on my head and their lights. So, and my mother found them to be extremely bright and she was like, just turn those away from me. They're too bright to look at. So they actually are, as you can see, fairly intense, you know, as far as what you see there. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to trigger the Amazon Echo possibly. So be aware. Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, turn off office. Okay, so you can see the illumination. The only illumination is coming from these lights. Sorry, I didn't find it now, if I turn these off, oh, I've got this sticker on my finger. All right, you can see there's a major difference. Like the, you can't, I don't think you can see my hand at all. If I turn these on, that's just one. You can very clearly see my hand, and turn them both on so that gives you an idea real quick all right I'm gonna also trigger the echo now Alexa turn on office okay all right so last but not Sorry. least I'm not Alexa stop all right last but not least give you a little bit of an idea if I put these in front kind of move that in and out hopefully that gives you an idea
So you can kind of see with and without. Okay. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what you might expect from the actual magnification of these glasses. So, very comfortable, independently charged, independently controlled. Uh, six hour or so run time, hour, hour and 15, maybe a little longer, especially if you use a weaker port, it's going to probably take you a few hours uh, to charge them. So 2.4 amp is one of the most common. That'll give you right around an hour for the charge. And other than that, they're very clear. I didn't have any scratches and they're lightweight so they don't, you know, weigh down or bother my nose and they don't fall off. And they don't look really super tacky or anything like some of the, you know, headbands and big, you know, things that you have alternatively. Okay, so really, really happy with these. Definitely going to get a lot of use out of these. I actually was using them earlier to fix, take apart some little screws and a little motor, a little circuitry. So anyway, that's it. If you want to find out more, I'm going to leave a link below. And otherwise, thanks for watching.